first we removed all the wheels. Right now we're gonna wanna take off the sway bar end link. The sway bar inside is moving internally, so you're gonna have to get a, a wrench and a 10 mil to take it out. So once the nut is about off, or close to off, you should be able to just free spin it off. It comes off. Take out the sway bar end link, get it out the way. Now we're gonna take the bottom part of the strut off that attaches to the lower control arm. Once you get it halfway off, you should be able to push it. Push the knuckle down, pull it out. So we gotta remove the upper control arm just for some clearance. It's a size 18 also. Same as a lower control arm. You can leave the nut a little on. Grab the hammer, your goal is to hit it right here. Careful not to hit the nut. There it is. Couple nut taps. Gonna leave this on for now. And take off the three top hat bolts. So there's a cover on here. You could try pulling it off with your hands, but it's pretty hard. I like to get a rag, either a flathead or a pry bar. Just pry it off the rack here so it doesn't scratch. All right, now we got the 313s up here that you can take out. All right, so the goal is to not stretch these uh, brake lines right here. Once you take this off, Drop. Now the goal is to try to get it out from the lower control arm, the fork from the lower control arm. Once you get it out, you should be able to pull it right out. You may need to put some pressure down. That's why we dropped this for some clearance. There it is. Pull it out to the right. What I like to do is bring this back down, upper control arm, and reattach it so it's not hanging on the brake lines. All right, so right here we have the coilover, and to adjust it, uh, you usually don't want to touch the top right here. From factory, it comes uh, preloaded already. So what I like to do is just make sure that this, these two perches are tightened and just leave it. And to adjust the height, you're basically gonna move the bottom part. So this is raising the vehicle because you're extending the shock longer. You would raise it and then to lock it, you would just bring this back down. And then with the tool, especially when it's on a car, it would be easy, easier, but you just grab the tool and then you just keep rotating until it locks. Uh, right now we're only doing about an inch drop from stock just to see how it looks. These are the rears right here. Just doing about an inch or about two fingers. And then we'll toss them on. We got the new coilover in right here. We're gonna pop it up. There's a couple threads on one so you can drop it and it'll stay after you should have enough clearance to push this down and slide the fork over into the control arm go ahead get your lower control arm bolts slide them in if you need help lifting this up you can always use a jack just 
So for the new coilovers, there's a 12 millimeter uh, Allen bolt for the lower control arm. And the other side, I'm just using a crescent wrench for the nut. Is uh, this bottom perch right here? You actually want to, from the top perch to the bottom perch, you want to get a tape measurement and line it up with the other side, just so both sides are matching uh, the same height. Come and see here. There's a bolt right here for the the shocks. You're gonna take that one out. You can take it down out fully. Grab an 18 and take that nut out for where the strut attaches to. All right, this is a pretty long bow right here, and it looks like it's gonna hit this exhaust. So we're just gonna possibly remove it or just loosen it, just for some clearance. You're gonna throw a jack under to hold all the tension. Then when you take the, the, the bolt out, uh, you're able to drop the jack, the spring should come off. Then you can take these two, uh, I believe they're 18s also, off. And this whole thing should just come off. Go ahead, grab your wrench, hold this. Just taking off the nut for now. Do not take off the bolt with all this tension on the spring, or else it will pop. Got the new spring. We're gonna attach it to the leaf spring on the bottom. On the rubber part, make sure you rotate it to the correct positioning. It'll stop. And then after, uh, once you're putting everything back in, you're just gonna get align everything how it is, get the jack, and then that back bolt is just gonna have to go straight back in. You can mount the two bolts right on the top. Just finger tighten them for now. And then grab your jack, position it, and guide it up. Now we just have to align the rear bolts back here. Got the back bolt in. We can tighten these up on the top. Here we tighten that. I'm gonna go for the lower control arm again. And match up the holes for the struts. That's in, just go ahead and tighten everything. That's basically it. Just make sure your perches are tight. The same exact uh, measurements on the other side so you have the same right height. Double check all your bolts so they're tight. And that's all.